Jason. I, I'm from uh, Dawson City, Yukon. I moved to Old Crow about three years ago. I saw an, a need in the community and I wanted to affect the people the most and it was through the co-op so I joined the board, ultimately became the president of the board. I believe I've been president for about a year and a half. Yeah, we have a local manager in uh, our store here in Old Crow. Her name's Tracy Rispin. We had um, Northern in our community for about 25 years and they wanted to sign a second 25 year lease. The thing with Northern is that I, mean, I didn't see any benefits coming to the community. One day they boosted about how much of a profit they made out of the communities and Oak Hill was third on that list with, with 1.8 million dollars. To see that and not to see it in the community, I didn't like it and from the General Assembly the people directed our leadership to start looking for something else that can provide our groceries and they found Arctic Co-op. Old Crow is the only community that only can bring food in by plane. We put our buying power with one store together with 32 other stores uh, across the north in, in Canada. We get a food delivery here once a week. We're buying for a thousand stores, that way we can uh, get reduced cost on groceries and uh, our vegetables have never been greener. We actually cut the ribbon two years ago. We had no store for six months. You know, our First Nation government stepped in and brought in groceries from Whitehorse. You know, that was unfortunate, but it happened. You know, we succeeded and here we are today. We're planning for our future. Uh, we have a winter road that's coming uh, next year. We're looking to bring a lot of non-perishable products into the community at that time. We're bringing a new pickup truck for the co-op to do its uh, garbage and uh, deliver stuff around town. Uh, the First Nation, the Vantat Gwich'in, they own half of the airline that brings that food in, uh, Air North Airlines. So I think they, they see a bit of a break. Everybody works together and we try to bring the cost of groceries down as much as we can for the people in the community. And when Northern packed up and just left our community, we had to move fast because we couldn't lose our um, bank, we couldn't lose our post office. So we had to move fast to hold on to those services and we did that. You know, if people complain about the high prices of the co-op, but I said, we, we didn't have a store for six months. Uh, here at Old Crow Co-op, the board of directors operate on a consensus uh, level. We are more than just a board. We support one another in our, in our roles at the co-op and in our day-to-day -day lives. The cooperative is run on a shareholder basis. The people within the community own the co-op. It is their store. Well, we want it to last many years, so we, we, we take very good care of the store and, and the people that are using it.